blood of Jesus. It was a powerful sermon held on this chosen day at Colorado Independence Grounds. Deputy Chief of Defense Forces, General Peter Eluelu, did what he loves to do best, praying. Father, save us. Save us and country us from division. And Father, may your love descend upon us. May your love descend This was the 11th time the Uganda People's Defense Forces was holding this annual Tare Hesita Thanksgiving service. Bishop Joshua Were was the keynote speaker and the preacher of the day. There is the sentiment of tribalism that is rising. And you want this spirit of nationalism and patriotism to be built. He was concerned that the bravery of the freedom fighters was on the verge of extinction. Hence the need for establishment of an archive center in Uganda. I saw it in Israel when I went there. Young uh, soldiers are take to, taken to the training ground and they are taken to Masada where the Jews fought the Romans and the 900 plus of them died in cold blood. So they are always taken there and they are given the story and after that then they are, they are commissioned as soldiers. You used to do uh, a pre-university training in Tiangkwanzi, which we think would really be, would be very, very good to be revived. President Yoweri Museveni, who had arrived earlier to officiate at the event, bought the idea. He was appreciative of the role that the UPDF is playing in the Democratic Republic of Congo. We launched the operation on the 30th of November. It's now almost five months. Total success, we have demolished the terrorists in that area, and we have lost only three soldiers in all this time. Museveni wants children of soldiers to access free education from primary to university, where only relevant courses will be offered. Because the courses at Makerira, some of them are women's studies, conflict resolution, please, we cannot have those courses. Let them, let them stay in those places. Children of soldiers under their network, Toto Wajeshi, as it is dubbed, have welcomed the idea. Really, when you look at the cosmetology, you can go anywhere around town and get that course. But these are essential courses that take talk of uh, political science he talked about, talk of law, talk about uh, science, uh, sciences. He really talked about things that are so beneficial to our world. It's very good. I really welcome it warmly because it will help our children, to the children of soldiers, to at least uh, study and uh, get skills, I mean. And we thank the president for being there for us and for recognizing us as Mutoto Wajesh. As for the increase in the prices of goods, President Museveni has highlighted the reason. Because of the conflicts in Europe now, between Russia and, uh, and the, the other Europeans, some of the things can be produced here locally. Of course, for us, we have our, our, our foods here, bananas, cassava, millet. These are the ones I eat myself. I think those will be affected by the, the cost of fuel, transport from the village. But otherwise, they are plenty. We don't have a shortage there. My only worry are those who eat bread. Me, I don't eat bread. Because I'm not a European. I eat uh, mogo, I eat uh, kaunga, uh, not kaunga, the akalo. That's what I eat. I eat local. But the price of wheat is going to go up. Because apparently Russia and uh, Ukraine are the ones who produce a lot of wheat. The theme for the 11th UPDF Tare Hesita annual Thanksgiving service was derived from the book of Psalms, chapter 118, verses 17. I shall not die but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. Henry Okurut, UBC.